Hi, this is Christy Haig, and I am excited to share with you today a couple of tips for how to use hue saturation to change the color of an alpha or an element for your scrapbooking. First of all, I'm using the program Photoshop Elements. So if you have a different program, um, you'll have to adapt the tutorial a bit for your program. This is a letter G alpha, obviously. Um, it comes from Kristen CB's Paint Washed Alpha Collection. It is the black version of the alpha. And I would like to use it um, as a different color for one of my layouts. So I'm going to use the hue saturation to do that. And I'm going to do that by adding an adjustment layer, which is right here in the layers palette. It's this half colored, half white circle. And when I click on it, I will find hue saturation as one of the options of the type of adjustment layer. When I click that button, you will notice that it started a new layer on top of my G that says hue saturation, and it also popped open the hue saturation sliders. One thing you need to know is that because this is black, um, if it is black or white, um, and does not have any color in it yet, I need to click this Colorize button. And also because it's black, I'm going to start by lightening it so that we can see some of the color. Now the hue and the saturation sliders will let you pick and choose by sliding um, what kind of color you want. The saturation will make the color deeper and the hue slider will change the color of it. So you can just sort of go back and forth, find a color that you like, um, that way very easily by adding a hue saturation level. Now let me show you how that works if you have the alpha already on a layout. Oops, I forgot to delete mine. Alright, so here we go. I have a letter G here in the white version of the paint washed alpha already on a background layer for, the, um, for a layout. So to use the hue saturation adjustment layer, I will add the layer there it is, and it opened up my box. But you'll notice this time if I start sliding my hue saturation, it is changing the whole layout. And the way I fix that is by coming back down here, um, making sure I have the hue saturation layer selected, and I'm going to hit Control G, or if you have a Mac, Command G, and that um, clips this layer to the one below it. So now when I go ahead here, I click the colorize since it's a white, and because it's white also I need to darken it to see the color. And I go ahead and use my sliders, I can pick a color um, and have it just affect the layer below it. So those are some nice simple tools um, for changing the color of an alpha or an element. But let me show you one more. Kristen's um, Paint Washed Alpha also comes with a version that is two-toned. There's a white top layer and a colored um, under layer also. So this is a little bit trickier if you want to change the color of it. Um, if you want to leave the white on top and just change the color part, we can add the Hue Saturation adjustment layer. And again, I'm going to Control G or Command G to clip it just to that G so it doesn't affect the whole layout. And I told you the white and the black, to get that to change, we have to click the Colorize button. But if it's colored, the section that's colored, we don't have to click Colorize. We can simply change uh, the hue saturation sliders, the lightness sliders, whichever ones you want, um, to change just the colored part of it. Now let me show you what happens if we did colorize the whole thing. Then when I go ahead and um, alter my sliders, you'll see that it's making the whole thing the same color. Now it definitely is making it too toned of that color, um, but as I slide it around you'll see that the whole thing changes color together. So that's another way that you can do it. You can click Colorize and use your sliders to pick two different tones of the same color. But if we want to go even deeper, let me delete this. I'm going to show you a way that we can um, change both of them to be different colors of our own choosing. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to use the selection tool right here. This is the magic wand tool. There are three different kinds. I'm going to use this one right here. And 
and I'm going to start with the tolerance slider down here and I'll talk about that more a little bit later but I'm going to go ahead and click on some of that background color and you'll see it selected part of it I could go and click on all the different parts but that can get a little tedious so there's a quick um, help here under select you can go down and find similar not similar layers just similar and it will select in that layer all of the different areas that are that color now when I go ahead and hit my hue saturation adjustment layer and I'm gonna clip it again control G clip it down I can pick and choose to find um, the color that I want that background layer to be. Now you'll notice something different happened on the hue saturation. Most of it is black. Just the area I selected stayed white, which means that any changes that I make in the hue saturation will just affect that section that is white up here, which was the colored section here. So now I'm going to go and do the same thing for the white section. So I click back on my um, alpha layer with my magic wand tool selected. I'm going to click on here and you'll notice that it didn't quite get all the way to the edge. You'll see that it kind of has two different shades of white there that I want to get and that is where the tolerance comes in. My tolerance is low and I click on a white area. It's going to pick just things that are exactly the same color. What I want it to do, I'm going to deselect that. What I want it to do is to pick up things that are exactly and pretty close to that same color. So this time when I click on it you'll see that it selected all of those different areas. Um, so now I go and add an adjustment layer again. Hue saturation and this time a different area is selected as white on my hue saturation level and because the alpha part is white I'm going to colorize it and darken it. And now I can use um, my sliders to pick and choose exactly um, the color that I want for the top part of the alpha. So there you have it. That's a bunch of tips for how to use a hue saturation adjustment level layer um, to change the color of an alpha or element for your layout.